Hey folks, this is Mr. Woodward giving you some tips and tricks on this graph game called Motion Mapper. So first, um, you're going to want to start on, uh, there's two modes, control mode and input mode. Um, I like input mode because I think it gives you a little bit more control and I'm going to show you how to um, master some of these levels on input mode. So you'll notice that there's two kinds of graphs that you're being asked to analyze, position versus time graphs here and here, and velocity versus time graphs here and here. And then there are two types of um, input. In one, you're going to set the velocity. In the other one, you're going to set the acceleration. So let's start here with the first type of graph. So this blue cube or square here is the character that's going to be moving in the game. And the goal is to make this blue character move just like the green line in the graph above moves. So according to this position versus time graph, the blue object needs to start at two meters and remain at two meters for four seconds. So I'm going to put him here at the two meter position and hit play. And then the graph game is going to trace out in yellow what the blue character does. And if they match, it lets me go to the next level. Now, blue man here is going to start at two meters, and then at two seconds, he's going to start to move towards this spot, the six meter mark. So at two seconds, he'll be at two meters. At four seconds, he will be at six meters, and the goal is to make him move like that. So um, he's going to need a velocity. So at two seconds, I'm going to set his velocity to some number. I'm going to choose like four meters per second, hit play. So he's moving in the right direction, but at the wrong velocity. So I'm going to reload, and now I'm going to think more carefully. Okay, from two meters to four meters, and it takes one second. So that must be moving at two meters per second. I'm, ch I'm looking at the slope of this line, two meters per second. Now I'm going to reset him over here to the two meter initial position, and then hit play. Um, all right, now he's starting at eight meters over here. So I'm gonna put him at the eight meter mark. And he needs to move so that his final position is here at zero meters, taking four seconds. So from eight meters to zero meters in four seconds, that must be negative two meters per second. That's the slope of this line. And I'm gonna start that at zero seconds. All right, let's try some other ones. What if you were doing a velocity time versus graph? So now this is no longer a graph of position, it's a graph of velocity. So here it says the blue man is gonna start at um, an initial velocity of zero meters per second, meaning starting at rest. And this does not tell me the initial position. So he can actually go anywhere and satisfy this graph because this graph is only showing how fast and in what direction. So I'm just gonna start him off here. Looks good. So now he's gonna stay at rest for two seconds and then at two seconds his velocity is gonna jump up to three meters per second. Let's try this. And um, I want to make sure that he has enough room over here to move to the right at three meters per second. So I'm going to actually move him over here because he needs to move at three meters per second for two seconds. Cool. And now here, initial velocity of negative two meters per second. Just let it ride for four seconds. Okay, let's keep cruising. What if you uh, were now setting the acceleration for a position versus time graph? Let's try this. Okay, so now the initial position is gonna be zero meters. So I need to set him over here, zero meters. And then the curvature of this line starts right at the beginning. So right at time zero, I'm gonna set the acceleration to some positive value because it's curving upwards. So here, um, Trial and error is okay. 
looks like a pretty gradual curve, so I'm just going to try one meter per second squared and hope for the best. All right, now an, an initial position of 10 meters, so I want him to go here. And now, according to this graph, he should be accelerating in the negative direction. So, um, and actually, it kind of looks like the velocity stays, uh, or excuse me, that the blue man stays at 10 meters, a 10 meter position for the whole first second. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say at, after one second, right? Here is when the curve starts happening. So at one second, I'm gonna say um, speed up in the negative direction. Let's see, let's see if this works. Okay, not quite enough, so I'm gonna increase the acceleration to negative two. I'm gonna put him back on his initial position of 10 meters. Got it. All right, and then let's try the last challenge, setting the acceleration from a velocity versus time graph. All right, initial velocity here is six meters per second. So I'm gonna set that right here. Um, and then after two seconds, the blue man is supposed to reach zero meters per second. So going from six meters per second to rest in two seconds, means that he must be slowing down at three meters per second squared. How did I get that? I'm taking the slope here, taking the slope. And it's specifically um, negative three meters per second because it's a negative slope. I'm going to set that acceleration right away because this slope is happening right from the beginning. And let's see what happens. All right, let's try another one. Initial velocity here of zero meters per second. That's already set. At one second, the velocity needs to go to negative three meters per second and remain for four seconds. So I'm gonna say at one second, set the uh, acceleration to some, some number. So I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, from zero to one second, the blue man is going to speed up in the negative direction finally reaching negative three meters per second. So if it's gonna go from zero to negative three in one second, that must be an acceleration of negative three meters per second per second. Then once it reaches this velocity of negative three meters per second, it's gonna remain at that velocity for the rest of the time. That means it is not going to change its velocity. It's not going to accelerate. So I can keep the acceleration here at zero meters per second. Um, I want to leave room for the man to be able to move to the left, so I'm going to start his initial position over here. Let's try this out. And it looks like I forgot to set my initial time right here. So let's say at zero seconds. 